Alright, boys and girls, this video is already late, so I'm gonna try to make this video as fast as possible. Um, you got Chris Sale, 10.8k, going up against the Dodgers. Chris Sale has been spectacular this season. Um, I don't really care about the opponent. It is the Dodgers, yes, but Chris Sale is Chris Sale. High strikeout upside. That's all I really care for. I have been um, scanning through the pitching, and, I, and nothing really stands out to me. So, if, you know, because of the fact that no one else stands out to me, and a lot of the decent pitchers are in tough matchups, I'd rather just spend the extra money for Chris Hill. And um, I feel a lot more confident than when I got Chris Hill. Um, going to war for me rather than some of the rest of these guys. Flattery, he's on the, he's on the, almost on the same page. I don't mind the matchup. Actually, I like his matchup a little bit better because Atlanta, Atlanta puts no fair in no one. He's only four hundred dollars cheaper. Flattery's been pitching well, um, since he's been on the Dodgers. Ten point four K fire his ass up too. Gilbert against. The failures of Texas, not 9.9K. Um, those three pitchers are definitely in a different realm compared to the rest of these guys. You can mix them up, mix and match. You gotta, you're going to have to find value, so just know that. Musgrove against San Francisco, he's an okay play, but I'd rather just spend the extra money and, and play the, the pitchers on top. Fat against Milwaukee. I don't, I like playing Milwaukee, but I don't mind fat on this slate because you, you're you going to need access to some of these mid-range pitchers. And Milwaukee can be a letdown sometimes, so I don't mind playing fat. Myers, I'll pass on him. Like I said, Arizona has been one of the hottest teams since the break. Absolutely in play. Scherzer, we got to see if he's on the limit or not. If he's not on the limit, he's an okay play, but I don't think you need him on this slate. Verlander, no oh, thank you. Give me Ward and Neto, my two boys from the Angels. If you happen to fall on some other Angels, that's fine. But I I, I really don't want to go outside of that because I want to save my spots for other players. Tyler Anderson, um, he's a decent mid-range player. A decent mid-range pitcher that I use um, sometimes when I need mid-range pitching for my lineup builds. Houston's been very good lately. I'll pass on that. Again, <sighs> JT Ginn, what have you been doing, my boy? Five innings, three runs, five strikeouts, nine fantasy points against the Tigers. Six innings, 19 fantasy points against Seattle. Five innings, seven fantasy points against Cincinnati. I got to get this guy off my page. I thought he was doing something. I mean, I knew he wasn't doing anything, but I thought maybe, you know, there was some type of context to why he only had, why he averages 9.9 .9 fantasy points per game. But the context is that he's, he's trash. Uh, Woods Richardson against Cincinnati. Cincinnati put up a lot of runs on Friday night, so that means they'll put up zero tonight. So fire up Marty. Fire up Wood Richardson. Um, <sighs> Cincinnati's very frustrated, but I'm a I'm gonna go on the side of history. They never do it two nights in a row. Give me, give me with Richardson, Taylon. I don't like his strikeout rate, especially going up against um, Colorado in Colorado. Give me Colorado bats. Nick Martinez is trash. Give me Minnesota bats. Give me Chicago bats. Give me San Diego bats. Give me, give me Tatis. Give me Arias. Give me all the the, the Padres we can handle. And obviously, one of the top guys I've been targeting my whole MLB DFS career, Chris Flexen. 
Mr. C- Mr. Chris Flex, and that is give me Butler, Blade, Rooker, and Langlander- Langlanders against the feeble Chris Flexen. Um, I'm going to play one of my top three guys. I'm not even, I'm not even like, I'm really tired. Right. So I'm not going to like mind fuck myself into one of these mid range pitchers. Um, maybe with Richardson for SP two fat for SP two. But as far as my main pitching, Sale, Flattery, Gilbert. Um, Give me Flattery, man. Fuck Atlanta. Fuck them. All right, let's get some pitching. So I I, I mentioned a lot of stacks just now. I like oh I love Oakland. Tatis is um Tatis is fired up right now. He's on a little mini streak. Mini streak. He's on a little. I'm I'm, I'm biased to him because he can't stay on the field, but he's on a streak right now. Let me see how much he costs. Tatis is 5,100. All right, I like that. Let's play Tatis, and then let's pair him up with Machado. 4,700. Machado's too cheap. They they literally watch these guys, not just the Padres, but like Butler and and Fitzgerald. And, you know, they, they watch these in Lindor. They watch these guys go on astronomical hidden streaks. And don't even raise their prices. Meanwhile, you have guys in the super slumps. And you leave them overpriced. Like, DK's really been asleep at the wheel all season long. Give me Machado. Let me get off this page. Um, If you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking time to watch my video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up the video. If you're struggling to cash or you don't have time to do research, you want me to send you my finalized optimal lineups, no problem. Check out the Patreon link in the description. Is that like honestly? I don't talk prices in the video, but it's dirt cheap. You could literally get a basic package and pay it off in your first night. That's what everybody else done. I got people that been with me. I have, I have one, I have one. I don't, I wasn't never gonna say this. I have one person with me from last MLB season, 2023. I have all my people have been been with me for months, and then I have we have new people since NFL started. But my packages are dirt cheap, and I've been hearing that. Other people's packages are astronomically crazy. I'm not going to get into that right now, but if you take a look at the Patreon, if you take a look at the channel memberships, your first win, your first win from my lineup, you already pay that off. Um, we're doing, obviously, we're doing MLB Saturday. We're doing college football. I'm sending that. I'm going to be sending that out shortly. We're doing MMA. So if you're a paid member in any tier, doesn't matter. I'll be sending you college football and I'll be sending you MMA on top of um all the MLB. <sighs> Let's go to FanDuel. I already got this worked out. We're gonna play Chris Sale up top, eleven K. We're gonna find value. Um I'm playing Butler. I didn't mention Mr. Flexen is a big target of mine. I'm gonna pair him up with Rooker. That leaves us with twenty eight fifty. I like finding value on MLB slates. If for some reason you can't you can't make it work with twenty eight fifty, then I take out Rooker and place and put him with, put um put Blade. If that doesn't work for you with your lineup build, then you can play Langwellers. You can actually do whatever you want to do, but I'm gonna I can make this work. I'm, I like I like I like um. I like Oakland. I like Chicago. I like pieces of of the Angels. I like Colorado. There's a lot of there's a lot of bad pitching, so obviously there's going to be a lot of uh, good value to choose from and a lot of good stacks to to play with. You feel me? I'm gonna go in and get out of here. I do appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up the video. Patreon linked in the description. Channel memberships. Here on YouTube, super chats are always open. You guys are amazing. And I hope you have a I hope you had a profitable Friday night. Ciao.